Aim of the experiment to study the chemical reaction of zinc with sulfuric acid. Theory Most metals that are higher up in the reactivity series chart react with dilute acids to form the corresponding metal salt along with the release of hydrogen gas. One such example is the metal zinc. Zinc reacts with dilute sulfuric acid to form zinc sulfate and hydrogen gas. It also reacts with dilute hydrochloric acid to form zinc chloride and hydrogen gas or with phosphoric acid to form zinc phosphate and so on. In this experiment, we'll consider the reaction of zinc with dilute sulfuric acid. The reaction of zinc with a dilute acid is an example of a single displacement reaction, specifically a metal acid displacement reaction because there is a displacement or an exchange in the relative positions of zinc atoms and hydrogen from the acid. Here, the more reactive zinc displaces the lesser reactive hydrogen from the acid to form the corresponding metal salt in its aqueous state. This reaction is also a common demonstration of the nature of metals when they react with dilute acids. Metals, as previously stated, react with dilute acids to form the corresponding metal salt along with the release of molecular hydrogen gas. The reaction between zinc and a dilute acid is also one of the most common ways of preparing hydrogen gas on a small scale in the laboratory. Materials required Wolf bottle or a 250ml round bottom flask or a 250ml Erlenmeyer flask for this experiment, I'll be using Wolf Bottle, which is the most common glassware depicted in textbook diagrams for the reaction of zinc with an acid. Two rubber corks that will fit in the two mouths of the Wolf Bottle. One rubber cork has a thistle funnel or a dropping funnel inserted in its hole. The other cork has a delivery tube bent in four places as shown here. In case you're using a round bottom flask or a conical flask, you will need just one rubber cork with two holes drilled in it. One hole has the thistle funnel inserted and the other hole has the delivery tube inserted in it. Zinc granules Dilute sulfuric or dilute hydrochloric acid. For this experiment, I'll be using dilute sulfuric acid. A trough or a large beaker. A beehive shelf. A gas jar or a large test tube. A few wooden splints and a matchbox. You can also use a candle. Procedure To begin the experiment, first introduce a few pieces of zinc granules into the wolf bottle or whichever type of bottle you're using. Next, stopper the two holes of the bottle with the rubber corks pre-inserted with the thistle funnel and the delivery tube. Immerse the free end of the delivery tube into the water contained in the trough or beaker. Now carefully pour enough of the dilute sulfuric acid into the thistle funnel until the lower end of the funnel is submerged in the acid. Observe closely. Observations The moment the acid comes in contact with the zinc granules, an effervescent reaction begins and bubbles of a gas are released from the surface of the zinc granules. The gas bubbles soon escape through the other end of the delivery tube submerged in the water. A slight whiff of the gas present an odorless smell but slightly irritating to your nose. If you bring a strip of moistened blue and red litmus papers near the gas bubbles, there's no change in color in either of the two strips of litmus papers showing that the gas is neutral in nature. Next, place the beehive shelf over the delivery tube immersed in the water and then place the gas jar filled with water upside down on top of the beehive shelf, like so. You can also use a large test tube instead of a gas jar. Allow the gas to completely fill the jar.
Once it's completely filled, cover the mouth of the jar with a glass plate or a watch glass and remove the jar from the water. Remove the lid from the jar while still holding the jar upside down and bring a burning splint or a candle or a lighted matchstick close to the mouth of the jar. You will observe that the gas in the jar violently ignites with a characteristic pop sound. Results and discussion The reaction of zinc metal with dilute sulfuric acid can be summarized by the chemical equation shown here. The end products formed are zinc sulfate and hydrogen gas. Since hydrogen gas is an odorless gas with a neutral pH and burns with a characteristic pop sound, the results of the investigative tests performed on the gas previously indicates that the gas is indeed hydrogen. In this reaction, zinc displaces hydrogen from the acid to form its aqueous metal salt solution, in this case zinc sulfate, while the displaced hydrogen gets released in the form of hydrogen gas. Hence the reaction is an example of a displacement reaction. Also, metals react with dilute acids to form their corresponding salt solution along with the release of hydrogen gas. Hence this experiment is also a fine demonstration of the reaction of metals with dilute acids. If you collect the hydrogen gas using a clean and dry test tube and then perform the ignition test as before, you'll be able to observe that on the inner walls of the test tube a layer of condensation forms. This condensation is nothing but tiny droplets of water formed by the combination of hydrogen with oxygen of the air to form water molecules. So this experiment also demonstrates an important type of chemical reaction known as combination reaction. In this case, the combination of hydrogen with oxygen to form water. The chemical equation for this combination reaction is as shown here. The experimental setup can also be slightly tweaked for the sake of fun and entertainment. Instead of using a gas jar or a test tube to collect the gas, the water in the trough can be mixed with a liberal amount of dishwashing soap solution. The hydrogen gas that is released through the delivery tube is allowed to directly bubble into the soap solution. When a burning splint is brought near the soap bubbles filled with hydrogen gas, the bubbles explode producing the characteristic pop sound. 